QSync Utility turns your QNAP NAS into a safe data center for file synchronization with huge storage. Its performance is greatly boosted in QTS 4.2 that significantly increases efficiency for group collaboration. Before using QSync, you need to create user accounts on the NAS, install QSync Client Utility on your computers and QFile on your mobile devices, Log into the NAS serving as a QSync server from your computers or mobile devices. After installing QSync Client, search your NAS or input the NAS IP, enter the user ID and password, and specify the designated NAS as the QSync server. Next, select the folders to be sync, and it's done! Now, let's start using QSync. Double-click on the QSync client shortcut to open the QSync local folder. Now, just copy or move your files to the local QSync folder on your computer. The files will be copied to all your other devices connected to the NAS. From now on, you don't need to copy files back and forth between your PC and external devices or worry about the size of the files. As you can see in the QSync folder on the NAS, the files are synced in the folder. For the NAS, it's the same. Copy or move files to the QSync folder via File Station. You can browse and edit your files offline. And once your device is online, QSync will sync the files you edited offline automatically. How to share files with others? Right-click on the file that you would like to share and click on Share the link. Select to send the link via email or copy the link to others. Click Settings to check more options for the link, such as creating an SSL link, the expiration date, or password. For the NAS, it's the same. Right-click on the file to get the QSync folder within File Station and click on Share. You can conveniently share a folder with a group of users. If any member of the group shares the files in the folder, other members can receive the same file. Just right-click on the folder and choose Share this folder as a team folder. Select users from the list of local or domain users. All members in the group will receive a file sharing invitation. Once accepted, the group members can start to access this shared folder.